popping, everybody. It's your girl for Red Chichet. And again, this is our first time here tonight. Exactly. Like it never happened. What's up? The new following is ratchet underscore chat dot podcast. And you call it podcast because it's, it's a podcast. I just want to make sure y'all understand that. So when you tell your friends to come follow us, make sure they put ratchet chat underscore. And make sure you tune in with some type of ink joint, blood, cigar, black and mouth, cigarette, swish or sweet. I mean, whatever, whatever you smoke. smoke. Just make sure you're doing it. But don't bring no crack. No. Sorry. Now it's called podcast. Podcast. You know, I really podcast. prefer you to bring your kush, your drove. Your bring drink. some loud so we can smell it through this show. You got Thanks. gas. Thanks. Thanks. Yes. Thank you, like. So Thank you, What's up, everybody? So, if you don't know, I'm your girl, Elle. And I'm Erica. I'm Kaylu. And we With the C and the Ooh. C and the K followed by followers. <laughs> Make sure she know. If y'all don't know by now, to see in the case, I'm wrong. Okay. If you, if you spell my name E R I C A or E R I K A, you don't, you don't deserve to be in my life. So yeah. what's up, everybody? <laughs> so for all of all who do not follow us or are new to Ratchet Chats, we like to bring in the show with a little bit of cheer, a little bit of joy, something that's gonna get everybody in the mood to listen and tune in and enjoy listening to some enlightening ladies. Exactly. So, if you don't know, we have a ratchet cheer. And it goes a little something like this. If you ratchet in, you know, and clap your hands. If you ratchet in, you know, and clap your hands. If you ratchet in, you know it, then your click will surely show it. If hey, you ratchet in, hey. you know, and clap your hands. And that's how we're gonna get it going. That's how we get it popping. That's how we get it popping. So if you don't know, we have a topic bowl, and there's tons and tons of different topics in that bowl. Random and we're just gonna topics. randomly select a topic. We're gonna dwell, talk about that topic. We want everybody to join in, and we're about to get it going. So and what's popping, yeah. ladies? Who wants your opinions tonight? We want opinions. Chime in. Anything going on social media y'all want to talk about? No, fuck all the hoes. Really? I haven't really seen anything interesting. I'm just glad the government is, the shutdown is over and I'm everybody so goes back to get y'all. But it don't matter, at least they find, they get they back pay for all of that money they miss. And they finally right. get, they do get back paid, yes. You That's a long pay. ass time, 30, what's 38 days? Yes, it's so Oh, wait, fucking wall. Trump, fuck you in that wall. Fuck you, bro. Fuck you, So, bro. congratulations to everybody that's back getting yeah, up to y'all shit. So, um, you feed your kids, feed your family, pay your bills. I know that shit sucks. Imagine just going a month without getting paid. I want to know what Imagine, out of nowhere. You ain't getting another employment. You're not getting paid. No. Upset. And it's, you still have to go to work. You have every to go day. to work. You have to pay for gas. That would be hard for me to go because I'm going to get there. I ain't going to check. They don't care. I that's the point. Quit. Yeah. I mean, a lot of people did quit, call in, resign. Mm hmm. I was just thinking about when I used to work in FEMA, I would be one of those people not yes. being paid. I would be feeling the exactly same people at TSA. Feel. So, shout out to everybody that's been getting their checks. So, who's going to do chick. the honors tonight? Okay, we got some good stuff in store for y'all tonight. So, we hope y'all are excited. And if y'all ever want to submit topics to us, yes. you're more than welcome to DM us and whatever stuff you, we can talk about on next week's episode. So, please chime in. Please send us questions. Yes, we're going to shout you out on the next episode. We're going to read out your question. And everybody's going to know how much you tried in to correct your chisels. So, she's going to do the honors with the first topic. going to read our topic to you guys. And we're going to go from there. It's time to get Ratchet ass. Oh, that was mine. Oh. Okay, this is Kansas' question. So, this is a this pretty is good question. 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 I mean, question. my question, question. was. My <laughs> bad. <laughs> so, <laughs> my question is question. how do you approach a guy in 2019? You know, we always have this stigma like, oh, the man that come talk to us. But you know, you be eyeing a nigga. You be looking. Know you want to say something. You be giving that. 
Yes. It's time we stop being shy. So, ladies, how do you approach a man? So, I would be real with you. I've never approached a guy. Me, I'm too shy. I'm very I'm afraid shy. of rejection. I can't even tell me no. Media. I'm gonna be like, what? Why? why? <laughs> Are you? Why? What's wrong with me? Are you not? Why aren't you interested? Why do you? Why would you not so, want to, talk to, to avoid me? feeling that way? I'll just let you approach me. That way, I know that you're into me. And most of the time, I'll give like you'll know that I'm kind of into you. I'll make a little eye contact. I'm not gonna stare you down, but. I'll make eye contact and hope that you'll grasp me because you need to be looking for me anyway. Because honestly, in 2019, eye contact ain't really working no more. That's not. It's not. Yes, like, like, you can have eye contact. I'm not going to ask for your number. number. Let's to okay. to us. And my thing is, I thought we had a conversation, ladies. What's wrong with sending a guy in the club? <laughs> oh, he's handsome. I'm checking him out. I'm attracted to him. I want to send a guy a Heineken. A like trading place, or like a Hennessy, a crown and coke. Is there anything wrong with that? Hell? I mean, but how do you do that though? You just sit up. Cause you didn't, you didn't do it one time. Okay, you experienced it one time. How did you do it? It was cool. I mean, I got him a drink. He was surprised. He returned back with getting me a drink, mm -hmm. and she, we ended up exchanging phone numbers, and it went from there. It was literally like he had got me a drink first. It wasn't. Like, he was actually like, wow. Like, it's actually a surprise to a guy. Like, because, again, they don't get that type of stuff regularly. So, if a woman does have the courage, it says a lot about a woman if she's bold enough to do that. Like, that is true, though. Because they don't get so that. Hard. How many women buy niggas drinks in the club? Men don't get approached like we Not do. Really. So, when they do get approached by a woman like I mean, they're like, damn, okay. You want me to buy you what? Oh, oh, not him. Not him, man. No, 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 no. The other one. That right there, right there. <laughs> yeah. You with your pocket. Yeah. You. You. Yeah, up. you. Yeah, him in the hat. Yeah, him. Yeah, that crown straight. Yeah. You. Yeah, that crown straight. They can't see. I, I don't want to waste my $10 or $15. Looking at me. I'm going to have him coming out. Hey. Now, what are you doing? That's what you're Exactly. Huh? What are you doing? But that's what I feel like if you are going to do that, you should do it with no expectation. Do it exactly. because you see a nice gentleman sitting at the end of the bar and you give him a drink. Don't exactly. do it because you want to bribe him and send yeah. him his number. He's gonna, then you want to get him out of here. That is true. Because, because, because ladies, has a man never got child a drink without asking for your number? It's happened to me. Yeah, it happened All to me. All the time. Yeah, a man has got me a drink and they didn't even ask me for my now, number. Now, what they will do drink. is linger around oh, hoping <laughs> That if I keep getting you <laughs> drinks, that you're gonna get That's the cool. number. Bring no drinks. I mean, I understand you lingering around. Yeah. But buy the drink and keep it moving, fellas, because that's annoying. I that's mean, a little five minute conversation. Buy the drink because you want to. Don't right. buy me no drink because what you're gonna do is create create a gold digger. I'm a, oh, he likes to do things for me. Okay. So you wanna hang around and do you think by buying me a drink is gonna get your number? So. Okay, what else are you gonna do? I'm gonna see what else I can get out of you. If you don't go away, the lingering type of guy. I don't like that. I want, want a man to go give me a drink. Give me a drink and keep it moving. Hey, beautiful, here's a drink. Have give a nice up. night. No. I'm gonna be like, oh, nothing else? Nice night. Don't you be looking like. Okay, nice night. Every guy you wants like a drink. That's a really good what? conversation. Because what? Exactly. what? You really did want that number. Like, he was looking for him. All he did was buy your drink. He walked up. That's it. You're going to be looking for Face is on the floor. You want it. Pick your face up off the floor. He's he doesn't good. want you. He wants to get He's you a good. drink. He said, bye. He's good. <laughs> Pick it all up. He's good. He's good. He's he probably great. has a woman at home, but he felt good enough to buy, buy you a drink. drink. <laughs> Why would you buy me a drink? Baby, my man is like, oh, oh, no, why you buy me a drink? I'm going to buy him a drink. He getting beat for <laughs> You getting knocked down, bro. So yeah. what if y'all niggas out buying hoes drinks? Hoes? He getting beat the fuck up.
start with L. What's your pick up line? I'm L. L be me. Two seconds. Sorry. Who has it's on the floor? Oh, okay. 
Y'all know how that shit go. The lighter always oh, fucking that's disappear. Y'all don't even play dumb on this show. Oh. If everybody smoke, y'all know that lighter. Don't you hate when you roll your blunt you on the highway? That's the one. Don't thing you have the have? I have the whole I've been damn near about to fucking wreck my car. Yeah. I've been damn near about to turn my car up real tight. I'm gonna get that light. I'm gonna smoke this blunt before the morning. Y'all gonna take the next exit. <laughs> <laughs> If I sit 7-Eleven, but I don't even get on the highway. I'm like, I'm not even going to go that far without my blood. Uh, if I was not that close, by the time I hit that, that right there, that little I need cool. to make sure. I need to see it. Have y'all never went back home for y'all's blood? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. And I'm not going to start my day. day. I'm sorry. I'm not going to start my I day. I didn't get to my daughter's school and turn around. I haven't got further than that, though. If yeah. I get further than that, I'm... Fuck it. I'll take an air Not me. Ooh. Damn near that I'm going home. <laughs> you have to drive. Oh, the fuck I will drive. We're back home. Be late late <laughs> I'll be late. Yeah. <laughs> so we're going to go in on the next topic. And you know what? I'll do the honorees. Ooh, I dropped this out here too. Dropping topics on the flow. So, dropping topics on the flow. Hey, dropping topics. Topic is hey. It's another little pink thing, and it's tight. Ooh, sounds Ooh, like me. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> it sounds like no. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Okay, this is a good question. So. How long would you wait? Oh, this is one from one of our followers, actually. Our Ooh, personal followers. One of our motherfucking followers. So, this question is, how long would you wait to get married after being engaged for some time? Oh, that's a great that's a question. Great question. Yeah. great question, follower. That goes shout out to Down to Earth Chick. Uh, one of our loyal followers has been rocking with us since day one. Shout out Down to Earth Chick. But that is her question, everybody. How long would you wait to get married after being engaged to someone? And I'm going to let the ladies pick up on that. Hmm. Ladies, Jesus. what's acceptable and what's not acceptable? And I feel like the wedding part is gonna fall on the woman. I feel like in most situations, I would say 85% of the time, the date and all that extra shit is based on the woman. Other than that, the other percent will probably be money. So if those. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what's too long because I don't know. I would I would me personally I would avoid going over a year. Because we already been together, I'm sure at least two years for you to propose. At least two years. That's just the minimum. So we engage another year, boom, that's three years. Okay. We got three years in. I don't wanna prolong I wouldn't wanna prolong it too much longer than three years. Boom, that's my answer. Mine's, I'm going to say about two years. Because I feel like relationship is like in steps. Like, yes. when you become that boyfriend, girlfriend, it's like, okay, we cool. Okay. But then when yeah. you become like, you're my fiance, fiance, things get a little bit more serious. serious. You, a little and bit I have to make sure you're ready because now we're at a I real mean, commitment. Like, we are at the finish level. line. So how long we ran to make shit. sure he ready? So, I want to say two years, but then it could be longer. I mean, I hope you were ready. I hope you were halfway ready when you when put you the ring, my ring on my hand. The other half is, are you willing to put the but work why in? Why would you even give him, like, why but would you be living I'm with saying, that low and say, and why would you even, I don't even know what word I'm trying to use, but, like, why wouldn't you want more out of a man and not say, not expect him to be halfway ready, but <clears throat> why wouldn't you expect him to be all the way ready? When I mean by not all the way ready, I'm talking about like us taking marriage counseling, like us going to counseling, like putting the work in to get prepared for our marriage. Now, I want him to be ready as far as to say he's willing to commit to me and marry me, but okay. as far as us get ready for marriage, like I want us to have a healthy marriage because I'm not trying to get married and get divorced. Like I want us to put the work in and make sure like, you know, we're going to have a good marriage. Like we're making sure we're going to understand each other. It's different. When you engage, this is a whole nother level. Okay. Yep. It's a whole nother so level. So you go give him an extra two years? I say two years which while we're planning a wedding, while yeah. we're doing counseling, like while we're basically putting the work in to get prepared for marriage. I agree with that. Well, I feel like me personally, like I kind of agree. I agree with both of the ladies. 
But back to kind of K Lo, I want to do steps. Like I feel like when you like in that boyfriend girlfriend stage, you're still getting to know each other. It takes time. It, every situation is different for people. You might be living together in that boy and girlfriend stage, but if right. you're not, and then he proposed, say you've been together two years, and he right. proposed after two, or maybe even three. Everybody, everybody, time is different for everybody. What's fast and soon for somebody may not be the same for the next person. But for me personally, my baby got for two and a half years. He proposed. I will actually want to be fiancés for about a year and a half to two years. I would like to just mm-hmm. take that next step. It take damn near a year to plan a nice wedding. I mean, just money, time, people, getting everything together. It takes at least a good year just to plan the wedding part of it. Even though, like you said, it is going to be mostly on the woman, but just getting everything together, I don't feel like there's a rush for me to say I do because at that point, when you say yes, you're going to marry me, you basically already just agreed to spend the rest of your life with me. So I don't feel like the wedding aspect has to be such a rush. Like you said, I want to get to know you on the next level as well. So I feel like, shit, after you propose, it's really on us to to figure it out. Now, if I feel like it has something to do with like the way you love me or something more personal, then I'll be like, okay, like why, you, you know, why are you stalling? But if it's something that we both in agreement on, like we trying to get our money together, we want to maybe do some counseling before we say I do or whatever, I want us to have time to do that. Because that's different level when you live with somebody. And yeah. everybody don't live together being boyfriend and girlfriend. Right. A lot of people wait and take in to do that. Like, so, I don't like the way this nigga do that. And you don't know about her until you live with them. Yeah, you know, God. That's again. You wouldn't need too much time after the engagement other than, like you said, planning my wedding, right. money. If those two aren't really a factor, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and take advantage of, you know, planning my Get wedding. Because I feel like I know this person. We spent this time together. We we And I'm probably going to be to live with my person. Like she said, you don't know somebody until you live it's with them. Different. So... I just I there's some of my days. friends that are like and married now. They didn't live together. They dated. They put the guy proposed, scary. and then they got and then they lived together. And they got like one of my good friends. She's married and Gabby. They didn't live together. He proposed. They were staying separate. They didn't yeah. move together while they were fiancés, and then they got married. But they but probably spent so much time together that they probably, you know. That's what I'm saying. Even if you don't live together, just the amount of time you be with a person. Yeah. People be in different states and end up proposing. You know, I guess it's just different for everybody. You got to know who you with. When you say I do, when he proposed, basically you're already agreeing to spend the rest of your life. To that is true. At that yeah. point, you, you said yes. Agreed. I do. Agreed. I, I do. do. I do. Shit. I do. I agree but with that. what if y'all's husband, this is a little off topic, and I got to make it quick because I think we about to have to get ready to go. But anyway, no. what if y'all's husband wanted to marry you, but he didn't want to sign the legal papers? Like, he still wants to give you your beautiful wedding, you know, everything you want that comes with the wedding. He wanted to make that dream come true. But he said, baby, I don't want to sign no documents. He doesn't want to get legally married. Yeah. He wants to just, you know, he proposed, he gave you a ring, <clears throat> but he doesn't want to sign no paper. He doesn't want to do it legally. Mm. I would personally be cool with that, personally. I think I could accept it. I think I could accept it. Because, honestly, there's a lot of guys out there who don't agree with marriage as far as paper wise paperwork they yes. agree with everything else but to me like they don't agree with the paper thing because they look at it like it's a business like it's the country yeah. like if it i'm already a business. It, it basically is when you think about marriage it basically is a business like especially when you get divorced it's really business now it comes down to business it comes down to money business. Is money it does come it's down business. you can't even love is out the window yes at so, that point, it's not about how long we've been together and what we got. She on child support right. now with your ass. It, 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 it becomes it. more financial yeah. gains, but I get it on the commitment. I, 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 I get it on the commitment part of it. You know, the right. paperwork. But I mean, I just feel like if your heart is in it for the right reasons, fuck that paperwork. But I get it from men's standpoint because mm-hmm. to them, it does come off on some business type shit. And, and I think too. that scares women a lot of men. From I marriage. don't think like I don't know. I'm actually whenever that time does come, I'm considering like not getting it, not getting legal documents. Like because, like you said, it's it's. It doesn't. It's a business. It becomes. It's so. It gets so difficult when 
you know, marriage. I mean, when you get the legal documents involved, like and mm-hmm. I just and remember, I'm Laura actually, Lee, her and they're African. Remember, they had like a spiritual wedding where they don't, mm-hmm. they not, they wasn't legally married. Yeah, but they had like their own little. And they didn't even have no. Healing. They didn't do all that in the Bible. And right. a lot of people do that, bro. They have a spiritual right. Way. Basically, said what they said, and then we got married. Yeah, yeah, it happens a lot. So I guess it's just different strokes for different folks. But like I said, me personally, now nah, I'm good. You know what was on the radio today? What this couple? And I'm gonna end it on this, y'all. It was on the radio. They was talking about this married couple. He had wrote in that him and his wife have been together 29 years. And his wife says Alzheimer's now. Well, she's been having Alzheimer's for six years. And she's got this got to the point where it's like extremely severe. Mm. Well, within the last year and a half, he has another girlfriend now. And he doesn't want to leave his wife. But he so he moved the girlfriend in the house. And the wife is at the point to where she she's gone in and out. Like, she so don't know she pretty don't, much. Yeah. But he don't want to break his vow. So, he said he don't want to leave his wife. But mm-hmm. his wife, he feel like in a marriage, a woman is supposed to be able to nur- take care and nourish and be there for their man. And his, and his wife can't do that. But he don't want to leave her. So, on the radio, the question was, do y'all think that's cool? For him, him, him and his wife been together 29 years. She's been battling all times for six. She at the point to where she's basically like, don't even really know him. He been dating a girl for a year and a half now. He moves her in so he don't leave his wife. Is that shit cool? I would say at that point, he's, he's, um. Y'all would be surprised by what people would say. The ladies that was calling was like, it's not wrong. The ladies was like, I I would say at that point. He's, you know, when they say you have to be friends first, like he may, he may not be there with her on that romantic level, but that's still like a friend, like that's like, you know, somebody he'll do anything for. Yes. So, me personally, I don't feel like it's nothing wrong with what he's doing, um, and that's where again where that legal document come into play. Yeah, it's like that's the only thing that makes it bad because of this legal paper. But at the end of the day. That she doesn't know him. And if he didn't have that legal document, he could just leave his girlfriend right. he's sick. But because of that piece of paper, it makes it sick. But like also, it. 29 years is a long time. 29 to be years with is a long time to be with somebody. And he has a connection to her, and his vows are, are yeah. obviously something that's important to him. But I feel like at this point, it's not even about them being married i feel like it's just he wants to be there for her yep at this point yeah. he you know it, it's friendship and probably love yeah. there like yeah she she's gone in and out not getting 30 years, years is half of his life he, right. this woman has been his wife unless for 30 he collected years. a disability check Ooh. well no it's b smith they have money uh, she's a so she was a celebrity lady <laughs> It's that lady B. Smith. Oh, B. Smith. It's her husband. Oh, I don't know who that is. Yes. That lady. Yes. You know her when you see her. You'll, have, you'll know her when you see her. her. But it's her. That's why I was on the radio. The story came out because he just came out and said he had the girlfriend for a year and a half. He just moved her in. But he doesn't want to leave his wife. Because they've been together for 30 years. If it was me and I was the lady, the wife, you know, the one that's sick, I would just want him to be happy. Yeah. yeah. At this point, because you gave day, me like I you gave me But how years. did the girlfriend feel? Like, how would you feel as the girlfriend? I would feel awkward. I wouldn't couldn't do it because that just be hard. The fact that I, yeah, even though I know the situation, because it's like one day I want to be your wife. Like, I don't want to just be your girlfriend. But he already probably knows that. She knows that yeah. the wife is obviously in the passing stage. I mean, she's not. I mean, I'm about to say she's going to die tomorrow, but I'm saying she's not in the position oh, to so where. Yeah. yeah. I mean, at the point, she's going to fade all the way out. She's right. not going to know anything. You know, those are stages, and she's already been battling six years. He said he's only been dealing with this girl for a year and a half, so he says, but the wife been having the disease for six years. So it's just, it's sad, but it's kind of, it's it's real life. Mm, 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 mm. That's sad. It's really sad, but I mean, like I said, me, I would just want him to be happy. At that point. And if you have moved on, I can't do nothing but be happy because I don't even remember you at this point. And I know that hurts you every time you try to come see me and I don't know you. But you know what? The white cops don't even know what the bitch is his bitch because she's 
Basic she don't remember. She don't even know. And yeah. I'm so it's really not even affecting All her. All times is hard. Like it's, it's really hard. hard. And it's and you got to think about his transition from having oh your wife being a hundred percent to not even knowing you anymore. Right. To thirty years, years of life. life. Yeah. I know that hurts him. Yeah. You That's what we mind you every time he goes and like, damn, my wife don't even know me. Exactly. His you pain. know. I know that's hard, so that's that's I just sad. want him to be happy. If I was the wife, I just want him to be happy. I and I can't, it's nothing I can, I can't do nothing for him at this point. Now, do y'all agree the same thing? If your husband had been in a car wreck and he's now paralyzed, would y'all feel like it would be okay to have a side person? Mm. No, I, I can't like do it. Would it. Be okay. I feel like if you do it, I don't know. I it would be hard. I couldn't do that. I wouldn't be able to do that either. You could say I couldn't your carry that guilt. Yeah. No, I, I carry could, that guilt. but I wouldn't cheat on him. I wouldn't be able to just go out and burn. I think it's different for women anyway. I say the paralyzed thing is a little bit different because he's still here. He can yeah. still laugh and talk right. to me and be and give me himself. They still get hard. Mm, mm, mm. Right. <laughs> <laughs> we good. We're good. Right. I'll push your ass around. We good. Right. Nigga still oh, dress. Yes. <laughs> nigga fight. But nigga still roll blood. Right. Oh, yes. Yes. <laughs> All right, y'all. So on that note, that go. just keep it real. What kind of bitches we is. <laughs> we good. He still going that cook. Real I'm with L. I'm with L. I'm sick about my husband. Now how he fucked up. <laughs> Conversation is going so good, eh? Yeah. It's rolling. But we gotta go, y'all. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. Okay. Thank y'all so much. And before we go. leave, you know, we I have to play a ratchet leave. song. Ratchet song? Ratchet song? What y'all want the ratchet song of the night to be? I want to hear some Usher. Who said ratchet, ratchet. song? Ratchet. She always does. I want to hear some Al Green. No. We just got a ratchet. ratchet song. <laughs> Can we get some uh, R. Kelly? Anita Baker? <laughs> she, she get on here trying to act like she don't know what ratchet shit is. That's it. Tune in later. Alright. <laughs> Peace!